What is up our awesome gemstones? It's Mary Jem and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on who can't get over you, who's still, you know, simping over you and all that vibes. So we have five piles here today. Let's get into it. Like I'm double counting. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it's five. <laughs> so pile number one says Lido. Okay. Excuse the shaky hand. Pile number two says The Wire. Pile three says Project S. Project S. Pile four says Odo. And pile five says Vic V. So yeah, if you guys are like OGs, you'll recognize these cards. Um, so yeah, you know, um, take a moment, think about the person you'd like to hear from, think about the message you'd like to hear, take a deep breath, watch the entire video if you can. I love you loads and let's get straight into it. Okay. <coughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I'm like super tired, but um, I just had a monster, a few sips of a monster, so I'm ready to rumble, okay. <laughs> what is up, my awesome gemstones? It's Mary Jim, and I'm back with another video, and today's video is going to be on um, who can't get over you. Um, I was going to say who's obsessed with you, but that could definitely be one of my next upcoming videos so yeah who cannot get over you okay um let's get into the tea let's find out who's still simping over you who still is thinking about you and that amazing you know thing that you got down there whatever it is whatever it may be um everyone is welcome on my channel you know we're lgbtq plus friendly we're we're everything friendly okay everyone is welcome the girls the gals the theys the everyone's okay everyone is welcome so um yeah i'm sitting in love and light so i hope you're having an amazing day hope you guys are feeling splendid and everything it's um currently 2 a.m so um yeah excuse the whispering because um yeah and like if my eyes are a bit red like i said it's it's 2 a.m so excuse me but um yeah like i said hope you guys are having an amazing day and let's get into it so pile number one who cannot get over you you guys chose the leader card okay so it sounds like a leader <laughs> So I'm definitely getting Aries energy. Just immediately I'm hearing that this person is an Aries. They're very attractive. I'm hearing like they could be a Libra or a Leo. But yeah, this person is super, 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 super attractive. I feel like they're very well known. And um, they this person can't get over you. Okay, so this could have been someone that you met when you were busy working. Like maybe as like a bartender or like at a coffee shop or something. But I'm hearing that they kind of taught you everything that you know. Um, like I'm hearing that this person was your first. So I'm just hearing like, yeah, like they taught you how to kiss. Or they taught you, or like you were they, they were your first. And I'm hearing that like they were your first and they weren't the best. But like you were kind of their best though, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, yeah, I'm hearing that like you were with them and you didn't know what you were doing. You know, maybe it was your first relationship and it's like, you know, your first relationship, you do everything, like it's your first everything. And I'm hearing like this person was super experienced because this this just seems like it's a player energy. And it's like even though they had a lot of experience, I feel like you were the best. And um they talk about you in a way where it's like they haven't spoken to you in like probably a couple of years and i feel like they just always bring your name up in conversations and i'm hearing their friends say like just message them already like you this person keeps bringing you up like they keep talking about you and at this point it's kind of like they should just message you i feel like um this person keeps talking about you like they'll be like oh you know 
so when I'm gonna mention and whenever I say so and so I'm talking about you oh you know so and so they always used to do this for me or so and so did this for me or I'm hearing like you were such an amazing partner to this person and I feel like maybe you used to be the one that would always drive them everywhere I don't know but like I'm hearing like you basically you know spoon fed this person and um you know I just feel like you did everything in the relationship and this person has been trying to like date other people but like no one can compare to you to like you know their first partner you know um girlfriend boyfriend or partner whichever gender and um yeah like they just keep thinking about how like no one can compare to you because i just feel like i'm hearing like you drove like hours to see them or um you were just so patient with them like you really put up with like all their bullshit and um they're just really surprised that like you stayed that long and um yeah they keep bringing you up in conversations and i'm just hearing like everyone getting really sick of it so <clears throat> yeah this person definitely could be an aries like i said or a libra like they definitely have a very charming characteristic about them or like this gemini characteristic where it's like they're everyone's friend everyone's really into them i feel like they're very attractive they probably have a large following as well um i don't know like i'm seeing like their instagram is popping or like they have a lot of um dms and stuff like that and it's like this person could also be a leo and i know a lot of leos you know leos are attractive okay we can't deny that leos are super attractive and um i remember this one leo told me they were like <laughs> like this is such a leo thing to say they were like you know like yeah i know i'm really attractive and everything but um and like everyone wants to be with me but i just don't want to be with them like people like dm me and message me but like i just i don't reply to them because i rather want to be by myself and i feel like that's how this person is you know they even have this aquarius energy where it's like and piscean energy where it's like they want to be by themselves they want to be a lone wolf and um they don't let that many people in like you know when you meet someone that's really attractive and like obviously if you meet someone that's attractive you obviously are going to assume that they have a lot of side pieces you're going to assume that they have a lot of contacts and that you know when it comes to getting some like they don't struggle in that department but i think you'd actually be surprised that like maybe this person doesn't have as much people as you think that they do and um they kind of like let you in and they're saying like damn like you were literally the base bro so yeah like i just think it's really um sometimes it's, it can be a bit amusing just like watching like when someone that's so attractive is like so sad about something like when my best friends are like sad about you know someone and i'm like you know bestie you got this like it's gonna be okay and like there'll be something over someone where it's like fam you could be doing so much better you know and um yeah but anyways i just feel like this person is like really something over you like they're just saying like damn like um they just keep talking about you like you know those people that always talk about their ex all the time like i'm getting like that is like low-key this person so um yeah but okay so part number one but um yeah anyway so i literally forgot the video that i was busy recording <clears throat> but yeah anyways so this who can't get over part number one spirit who cannot get over part number one so we have oh my word i feel like i keep getting the same cards no spirit who cannot get over power one please new cards new energy who cannot get over power one let's see we have the um eight of pentacles that came upright we have the devil card that came upright who can't get over power one we have the two of pentacles and then the moon card that came in reverse okay so um yeah i'm hearing that this person doesn't want to get into details they're trying, they're trying to say like no please like this is so embarrassing okay i feel like there's someone that doesn't usually simp for people they don't usually get really emotional they don't they aren't the type of person to get really obsessive but i feel like when it comes to you this person is kind of like nah fam like you're the og you the you're the favorite like i feel like we all have that one person where it's like if they okay not always but we have that one person where it's like if they were to send us a message and be like you up at you know 2 a.m whatever they were to be like you know hey it's kind of like you drop them, you drop whoever you're with and you just like go run, running to them. And I feel like that's low-key how this person feels about you where it's like you could, this person could be in a full-blown relationship. This person could be, you know, moved on with life. You you all haven't spoken in months, years. If you message this person and say, hey, 
they'd come running like i'm hearing this person literally running fam they'd be like the running man challenge like fam 2016 they would be they would be there they'd be open okay so yeah but uh, let's get into it so we have the 10 of um coins that came upright so the ten of coins talks about fulfillment and gratitude and money and um just like happiness okay hustling and grinding so this person could definitely be a capricorn 100 percent capricorn taurus or a virgo because we even have the devil card represented by the capricorn so um yeah i feel like this person's very successful you know they've moved on with their life i feel like they're doing really well like i'm hearing that they're doing amazing but it's like if you were to message them fam they'd be there you know and it's a vibe where it's like when it comes to the devil card because you know the devil talks about um like substances and like that type of thing and like abusing substances so i feel like um the quote where it's like drunk actions are sober thoughts so i feel like you know when this person gets a bit intoxicated or whatever like you're the person that they want to text you're the person that they want to drunk call and everything so if you ever get drunk calls drunk messages it's it's that person that's the person that wants you bro like dead ass like even if this person hasn't showed any interest in you i feel like um it's the times that like when things get tough it's like this person goes to you and um yeah like when they're intoxicated like you're the one that they're busy thinking about and when they think about like who they wanted to end up with it was you like you know you were the original plan and then maybe you guys um stop talking or it's kind of like you guys yeah you guys aren't as close anymore and um yeah i just feel like it's a very intense thing because it's like oh gosh it's her uh, how do i describe this bro i just feel like this person has a lot of emotions for you because the moon card does talk about hidden emotions and like things that are hidden but because it came in reverse i feel like it's well known and i just feel like they know that they probably cannot end up with you just because like they know that you guys wouldn't work out and i feel like it really sucks because they feel like they're stuck in the cycle where it's like they want to be with you they can't get over you but they know they can't be with you you know you know it could be a vibe where it's like the friendship or the foundation that you guys have is so strong or it's like you guys have a plan or you have a plan for your life and like you want to maybe be traveling and studying and everything it's like you stay in one country they stay in another country like you don't want to do long distance and it just sucks for everyone because yeah like it just seems like the foundation is so set in stone like everything just seems so set in stone where it's kind of like there's no wiggle room for them to even like try and squeeze in like they can't even squeeze in like a you up text they can't even squeeze in a you know a little sneaky link like they can't even squeeze that in um because you're too tight no i'm sorry because um like i just feel like you're not really having it or it's like um circumstances don't let this happen because it's either that they're always dating someone and then you're single and then when you're single they're dating someone because the two of pentacles is talking about juggling emotions and juggling your work life your um friendships your love life your health like it's trying to juggle everything and i just feel like you know something's gotta give eventually and i feel like this person's trying to come to terms with the fact that like at this point they're just like giving up because i'm hearing like them saying damn it like they got into another relationship like are you serious another one i just feel like they keep hearing from other people that you're seeing someone else or it's like every time they want to come through or like send you a message or something they see you post something like oh you just left the country or yeah you're dating someone else and then they're just like you know like it sucks when you want to be with someone but like you guys are never single at the same time like it just feels like it's a constant cycle and i feel like they're just getting really down about it and they're really upset and like this person's at their wit's end and they're about to literally give up and be like you know what i've been waiting for you to be single it hasn't happened like i feel like there was a movie like that um we like this girl always had a boyfriend and the guy liked the girl and then she was finally single and then um five minutes later she got a boyfriend again and then eventually when they were both single at the same time she was like actually i want to be single like i want to pick myself and like not date for a year and the guy was like Fuck, you know and like it was like a thing so 
And yeah, like I'm just sharing you guys when they were single at the right time, at the same time. And it's like you keep missing each other like all the time. Like every time you guys try to link up, it's like, you know, maybe your work schedule's really like hectic and their work schedule work schedule is always hectic as well your timetables never line up together because it just seems like it's this thing where it's like yeah set in stone so you can't really change it and i feel like that usually refers to work because you can't always pick your hours um or maybe it's like school related and that that type of thing and then i feel like eventually when you guys are both single at the same time it's like you're busy focusing on yourself and they're focusing on them on their self and um yeah you guys keep missing each other but i do feel like you've always wondered like what would it be like if you were to be with this person because if you haven't you know step with, step with this person or like hooked up with them at all i am hearing that like you know that one friend that you have in like a large friend group and it's like y'all be you know flirting or like there's some tension with y'all but like you guys never did anything about it and you always like wonder like i wonder what would it be like if i was with them and like you think about it and you like can entertain the thought but still nothing happened it's like that type of vibe where it's like there's just always tension no matter if you guys are together there's always tension and um yeah like you guys don't do anything about it though just because it's like maybe you dated people in the friend group so it's like kind of awkward it's like oh dating in the friend group that type of vibe uh, mixing business with pleasure that's another thing with all the pentacles because that could definitely be it bro where it's like you want to date a co-worker and it's just like it can get messy and uh it just seems like the like their work is really important and maybe they get deployed like a lot of different places so they're always traveling they're always moving around they can never stay in one place for a long enough time so it's like are you guys gonna have a one night stand or have a relationship and you can hear me rambling on it's like there's all the technicalities and i feel like that's what happens when a capricorn tries to get into a sneaky link it's like they'll be like okay yes um but i need to fit you in my schedule like you know sheldon from big bang theory i'll insert a photo like sheldon and amy like i'm getting this is the vibe you know where it's kind of like you guys are perfect for each other but like the spontaneous energy that's what you guys are missing you guys need some fire up in here okay because we just have water and earth and we need some fire we need some spontaneous energy so i feel like advice from spirit would be to just try and like you know bite the bullet and do something spontaneous um you know fuck the schedule okay no i'm kidding no don't do that you know focus on your coins and everything but um yeah that's what i got for part number one i hope the video resonated i love you loads and yeah let me know if i should like go more in depth because i can i'm just not going to <laughs> right now but like i can if you guys want me to so um yeah let's get into the next one part number two who um wants you okay who can't get over you sorry i don't know why i keep forgetting the video title but yeah um who cannot get over you so you guys chose the wire okay so this is giving me you know garish here i'll insert a photo of the two of them this is this pile is inspired by them okay so um basically it's kind of like ah it's similar to pile number one actually now that i think about it but i feel like the person that um can't get over you is someone that you've been meeting up with maybe like on a weekly basis a monthly basis or something but yeah it's like i feel like you've been seeing this person like for lunch every single week you know maybe you guys like um like there's a study group that you always go to and you are always the last person to be like lock up or something or like i don't know what it is but like either way you always end up alone with this person and i feel like they've always wanted to make a move on you but they never did it and um or maybe they you guys have done it like a few times in the past but like it was when you guys were drunk and it was even when you guys were sober 
and I'm hearing that this person cannot get over it. So if you recently had like a drunk makeout set with someone or like um, a drunk um, anything with someone, you know, or it's kind of like um, you hooked up with someone like once but you never did it again, like I'm hearing like it's a one night stand type vibe but then you saw them afterwards and like they cannot get over it. They're just like thinking the whole time like, damn like that was so hot and spicy like it was so like this person was so turned on when you guys are busy doing it and um i'm just sure that they can knock it over it and um i feel like it's really messing with their head like it's like you know the wires in their brain are like short circuiting and they're like um what's happening like i want to see you again um because it seems like you were like seeing this person very casually and then all of a sudden they started catching feelings for you and like they want to spend time with you like sober you know like in the daylight in day hours like they want to take pictures with you like pictures with you they want to do romantic things with you like they want to see where this can go because it feels like the started off as just being like a very like you know sexual connection but then they ended up actually um having um, genuine like emotions and like emotional feelings for you so <clears throat> yeah I feel like there's this deep desire for them to just like tell you like listen um I don't want this to just be a physical thing anymore or like I'm hearing this person is like tired of being your friend they're tired of like you know hearing about you talking about like all your um I don't know dating ventures maybe because maybe you have like um someone that's very close to you like I don't want to say your best friend but I feel like it's someone you see on a weekly basis someone that you're close with but not that close with and um they're always hearing about your dating stories or like they always see you getting down about you know date your dating life maybe you're always like oh I'm so single no one wants to date me and I just feel like they're saying listen I'm tired of this like I don't want to be hearing about this like I you can date me you know you can pick me it's like this um I don't know if you guys watched iCarly, but you know Freddie and Carly, like Freddie was in love with Carly, like bro, the entire, like for years, years and years, and she never liked him back, and then she kissed him once, and then they never did anything about it, and then later they end up together, spoiler alert, I think, I don't know, so I just feel like, yeah, like you hooked up with this person once, and then you guys never did it again, and you guys just like pretended like it didn't happen, and now they're kind of like, nah fam, like, we can actually make this work like i know it was maybe like a drunken or like a spontaneous um just like you were there at the right time you know maybe it was like it was a new year's kiss or you guys just had it one date on valentine's day but um yeah like it even could have been a vibe where it's like you were invited to a wedding and um maybe like they're your plus one and you know if you're at a wedding it's romantic everyone's together confessing their love and stuff like that and you get caught up in the moment and then you guys kiss and then it's like cute and romantic and i'm just hearing them say like i know that it started off as like something like this was just supposed to be a one-time thing or like i know that i'm not who you expected me to be or maybe it's like you wanted to date someone else but then you ended up I don't know hooking up with this person instead and it's like this person was your backup but either way it just seems like such a messy situation and it's like they're saying like i know but like like can we still do it can we do it again though like i can't stop thinking about you you know um like losing sleep over you type vibe where they're saying like let's just do it one more time um just for old time's sake yeah they're saying they do it for old time's sake oh my gosh like maybe you hook up with this person on like an annual basis where it's like yeah like it sounds like that type of vibe so um oh my gosh juicy so spirit pal two who can't get over pal two spirit who cannot get over pal two okay so we have the six of pentacles that came up right who cannot get over pal two whoa whoa so we have the seven, I mean the six of swords that came in reverse, and then we have the eight of swords in reverse. I was like looking, is my dick like upside down? It's not. Okay. Who cannot get over the pile number two? Okay, we have the tower card that came upright also. 
So let's first start with the six of coins that came upright, okay? So, <clears throat> the six of coins talks about um, kind of like this give and take energy. So yeah, like I'm just hearing them say like, can we do it for old time's sake? You know, like let's just, let's just see like what would happen if we were to do it. Like I know you're thinking it, I'm thinking it, like let's just do it. Um, yeah, like I keep hearing like old, old time's sake because you guys did it once and now they're saying like, let's just do it again. so that is so hectic oh my gosh like i'm like burning up right now like oh my gosh this person's like getting hot even thinking about it okay and in the seven of swords that came in reverse it's interesting because with the whole like doing it just because you guys already did it before so it's not going to be as awkward um the seven of swords upright does talk about sneaky energy but because it came in reverse i feel like they are being really open and honest with you and I don't see them like seeing other people like I feel like this isn't a thing where it's like they want to use you anymore because maybe before it was like oh, it's kind of like okay you know Gossip Girl and like Belair and Chuck and Nate if you didn't if you didn't watch Gossip Girl basically this girl wanted to sleep with this guy then she slept with someone else instead and she slept with a player you know but then the, she ended up falling in love with the player. You know, that type of vibe. And then it's kind of like, I feel like this person used to be a really sneaky person. They used to be, you know, a player and sly. They used to, you know, maybe not treat you the best. They used to, like, just, like, be, you know, sleeping around, doing all that stuff. And, um, yeah, I feel like they've changed. Or, like, they want to change for you. Like, they're saying, like, you can, I, you know, like, I'm changing for you. Like, we can try this again. And, like, we can do it the right way, you know. Um so yeah oh wait sorry the six of swords but yeah the six of swords is just talking about like having love troubles and like leaving your love troubles behind and they're saying like listen um like oh it's just like i don't know like i'm hearing them say like they want to get rid of all like they'll get rid of all of the contacts for you basically you know they're saying like you know will smith like um prince of ballet like the black book like he's saying i'll i'll they are saying I'll burn the black book bro like I will get rid of all my contacts you can go through my phone like you can do whatever you want you can be sneaky as well like let's just do it okay and then um the eight of blades talks about just feeling helpless and restricted because um they just cannot move past what you guys did and they're saying like it meant something to me like I don't know if it was important to you I don't know if you felt something when you kissed me but I felt something when I kissed you that's literally what they're saying like i heard that word for word like i felt something when i kissed you they're saying they felt something and um they can't get over that feeling so yeah i feel like pile number two you probably know what it's like when you when you were someone and you feel that emotion you know that feeling where it's like it feels good and you feel like butterflies and all that stuff like i feel like that's how they felt when they were with you and they're saying like they can't get over that and then we have the tower card bro dun 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 so the tower card is like this dramatic thing where it's like everything's falling apart and i just see them like really racking their brain trying to find a way to like end up with you and like be with you and um yeah you really did like just like you shook up the world bro you really did um sorry i'm busy looking for the tower card now <laughs> but um where's the tower so yeah like i'm just hearing that it definitely is a messy situation it's kind of like i'm not gonna sugarcoat it like you know there's a lot of drama in this but i do feel like it's kind of like realizing what's real and what isn't and i'm just hearing this person say like listen um i really felt something that time we were together you know like i'm hearing this person say like you know two years ago when we hooked up behind the library um very specific i know <laughs> um you know that time like i really felt something and i don't know if you felt something but i want to see where this can go and i know we didn't you know start off on the best terms i know that maybe we should have waited blah 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 but um yeah you know maybe like you ended up getting pregnant or something i don't know and like 
like you know the movie knocked up where like the person got pregnant and she wanted to keep it and then like they ended up being together i'm just getting that vibe where it's like you guys end up together fam like i don't know i'm seeing you guys dating after this i'm seeing the, like i'm seeing you ending up with this person like i'm seeing you i'm i'm rooting for you guys okay i'm rooting for you so if you know who this person is um definitely comment down below if you want to get a personal reading my details are down below as well but um yeah i'm just hearing that this person is saying like they just want all the chaos to stop they just want to stop thinking about you because they can't and they feel like if they just sleep with you one more time like hopefully it's gonna go away which it probably won't it's probably gonna just make them even more attached to you and more connected to you and everything um like, I want to say attached because we have the reversals. But, you know, this can turn into a healthy relationship. Um, yeah, so it's saying, like, they're just trying... They're trying to find, like, a middle ground. They're trying to say, like, okay, if you don't want to date me, like, let's just do it one more time. So, um, yeah, that's what I got for pile number two. I hope the video resonated. Um, sounds juicy. Sorry, I see you guys always keep me on my toes. But yeah um that's what i got for part two hope it resonated let me know if it did let me know what you liked about the reading and what you didn't you can be as brutally honest as you would like to um and yeah so let's get into it part number three who cannot um get over you okay so i keep looking because i keep forgetting the video title that i'm busy doing so yeah Anyways, you guys chose Project S, okay? So, part number three, I am busy hearing the person that can knock it over you. It's super sweet. Like, I'm hearing this person say, like, oh my gosh, like, I'm not gonna start crying. Like, this person is literally so emotional over you, bro. Oh my gosh, I think there's someone out there right now that's in love with you or you are in separation with a twin flame because this is very intense energy and, um... <laughs> I'm trying to prepare myself right now. Um, this person definitely could have written a poem for you or like written a song about you already. And like part three, if you're like, excuse me, I'm single as heck. I don't know who this person is. Um, I don't know what to tell you, fam. This person is literally in love with you. And if you don't know who this person is, I'm a bit concerned. Um, but yeah, I'm hearing that this person could definitely be a Gemini. Like I'm just hearing Gemini, 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 Gemini um aries leo sag sagittarius 100 percent and um i feel like they see you as someone that's really special in their life and they don't want to let you go so you could even be dating this person right now and if you aren't i'm just hearing that like this person feels like you really um helped them at a time when they really needed it and like i feel like that's where the emotions is busy coming out because i was like whoa where's all this coming from um so you know maybe you offer this person support and solace at a time when they really needed it and it's kind of like they were at a very vulnerable time in their life and then you just were there and you offered a hand and it could be a vibe where it's like they just got out of a relationship and then they already had feelings for you or like they left their partner for you but either way i feel like they were still you know hung up on their i don't want to say the ex but yeah they were still hung up on someone else their previous partner and um it's kind of like like bro a day late a day after they got out of the broke the break up or something like they started having feelings for you they developed feelings for you or it's like they had feelings for you and also for someone else okay and i feel like even though this person could be in another it could be in a committed relationship it's like they had feelings for you and they couldn't get over you and i feel like it's really messed up because they dated someone else and they were with someone else even though they were thinking about you that's what i'm busy getting bro like i'm seeing them being with someone like you know being with their partner and like thinking about you and like wanting to be with you because they couldn't get over you and i feel like it happens a lot where it's like we some people um will like date when they aren't ready and that like, they will date even though they still have feelings for someone else you know i feel like maybe this person tried to date around trying to forget you they tried um yeah i feel like this person tried doing everything trying to forget you you know they tried um taking up um like sports like tennis they tried taking up um new hobbies they tried maybe even moving they tried 
um, getting new friends, they tried cutting you off, they tried everything, but it's like, fam, they're down bad for you. They're down bad for you. Um, I just feel like no matter who they were, they always are thinking about you at the back of their head. And it's really intense, bro. Pile number three, this is very intense energy. I don't know if I'm busy showing it right now, but I'm busy quaking. I'm quaking right now, okay? Like, this is a lot. Um, oh, gosh, this is a lot. But okay, pal three. Let's see. It's a Leo. Oh, a Sag. 100% a fire sign. Swear it. Um, who can't get over pal number three? Yo, bro, this person is just like... Oh my gosh, it's intense. We have the Ten of Elixirs, okay? That's the Ten of Cups. This is an abundance of energy, abun abun abundance of emotions. Like, this person has so much feelings for you. They're literally in love with you. I, I feel like I sound like those tarot readers on TikTok where it's like, your ex is, your, your twin flame loves you, they're in love with you, but like, dead ass, that's what I'm busy seeing. Because we have the Death card, okay? And then we have the World card. So I'm just hearing that they keep trying to end this connection and it's like they can't like no matter who they meet like you're literally at the back of their head like they're always thinking about you like all the time like literally oh my gosh and we have the ace of cups so I feel like you could definitely be dating them or it's like they're dating someone else but like someone's in a relationship fam someone is in a relationship um so i don't know where to start i don't know where to start okay let's start with the 10 of elixirs that came upright okay so this talks about um it's a positive card okay it talks about a sense of comfort and harmony and being surrounded by loved ones and like manifesting and um just having a special someone to share your abundance with and i feel like that's how this person views you they feel like they could literally build a future with you they feel like they could see themselves you know being with you and being happy with you and this person just like cares about you so much they really really do like this person cares about you so much um and then with the death card that came upright Okay, then we also have the death card, and this has to do with Scorpio and water sign energy. Oh, it's just saying like you can't change your circumstances and you can't really escape this. So they really cannot escape the thoughts of you. Um, yeah, they can't escape the thoughts of you. Like it reminds me of like a poem that I wrote. Mm -hmm. Self plug, but like I'll link it down below. I think it's called escaping the thoughts of you or something. I don't know. But like I'm just hearing like that's how this person feels. They feel like they literally cannot get over you. And it's like they're always thinking about you. You're always at the back of their head. And they can't accept that this is over. They're saying like I'm not going to accept it. Because the death card, it's final, you know. It's kind of like, fam, it. It's, it's done but like even after death bro you still have the ace of cups so it's like they have all these emotions and even after the all the emotions is depleted and gone fam they come up with another cup bro it's like you know like it's enough slices <laughs> i don't know if you know the tiktok but if you don't it's like this vibe where it's like when you give someone let's say a hundred rand and it's like that's all your money that you have and then you come up with like more money to give them and you just keep giving and giving and giving and it's like this person just has so much love for you it's like fam 10 cups and some okay 10 cups and some okay um like i'm thinking about you know the bible uh, sorry but yeah i know the bible when moses was busy walking okay I don't want to like say anything bad but like you know when they he said something about like a god was going to provide them like bread and like they would be so full and then like god like uh, went and he like gave them all bread and like they were they ate so much that they were full like I don't, i'm just hearing like it's plentiful bro like it's plentiful and this person has so much emotions for you and um yeah they keep dating other people but like i feel like you're the one that they want to be with though 
because the world card is like all these encounters and like they're meeting so many people you know they're seeing the world they're traveling they're dating you know they've been active they've been doing the things but it's like they still think about you so yeah you're the one that they want you're the one that i want ooh, ooh, ooh. um yeah that's what i got let me know if you want a personal reading that was hectic i feel like i need to cleanse after that one bro i think i'm gonna cleanse okay so i just cleansed off to pile number three because that was hectic child that was hectic so pile number four who cannot get over you so you guys chose the odo card okay so when I see this card, I always think about someone that's super sincere, someone that's always been there for you. And I don't know why, but I'm hearing rejection, rejection. I don't know that TikTok sound where it's like, da 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 da, I can't handle rejection. I'll see if I can link it down below. But, um,. Yeah, like I'm hearing that, you know, you probably put this person in the friend zone because this person just seems like it's a friend. Like, you know, sometimes someone likes you but you don't like him back and it's unrequited. Like I'm hearing like it's that type of vibe. I feel like this person has um, admired you from afar and maybe like you don't even know how they feel about you. Like it's literally a secret admirer and I feel like, yeah, like you don't even know that they like you. I feel like I'm getting so... Like, I'm so extra, I'm sorry. I'm an extra tarot reader, so yeah. Anyways, yeah, I feel like this person's, like, super into you, and they just never told you, bro. Um, Like, it's reminding me of, like, me when I was in grade 8, and, like, I had a crush on this one person. <laughs> I was gonna say their name. <clears throat> but, like, yeah, I had a crush on this one person, and then, um, like, they never knew that I liked them. But, like, I was literally, I was obsessed. Five, I was obsessed. Like, 14-year-old me. I couldn't get enough of them and it just feels like oh, this person um like i don't know why but it just seems like they barely spoke to you like i feel like they didn't even like maybe you don't even know this person's name like i feel like it's like that vibe where it's like this person was so scared to even like approach you or talk to you or even like say like even introduce himself but like every time they saw you like their heart would go pitter patter pitter patter you know um, like they would just be like so anxious and like you know sweaty palms it would be like that geeky thing where it's like you know like I just feel like they'd be super into you and like you wouldn't even notice or they put in all this effort in their outfit or they try and like look nice for you they would do all this stuff all this elaborate stuff and it's like th you never knew it's crazy how um, someone can like literally be obsessed with you and like in love with you and like you can like not know um, like you can be oblivious to all the signs and if you do know this person I feel like but nah I don't feel like it I feel like this is literally a secret admirer I feel like it's someone that um has thought about asking you out and like everything but I feel like they worked out in their head already that you would reject it that you would reject them because literally the lyric that I keep hearing is I can't handle rejection and it's like they're just so afraid that you're gonna reject them before they even say no and it's a vibe where it's like it literally sounds so deep because it feels like this person would rather is so afraid like it's really intense like i don't even want to say it but it's like i'm hearing this person say like they would rather like you from afar because they're afraid that if they you know actually get to know you um like what if it isn't everything they dream about you know like not like you would like what if what if it like what if it doesn't work out like what if um okay here's a good way to explain it so this person diane right she had a dream of having um a bookcase like bell from you know the princess and then her husband went and bought her the bookcase and then she was like why would you do this this was my dream and i just made it a reality and the guy was like what do you mean like that isn't that what you want and she was like no this was a dream it was supposed to be something that i could have for me and now it's real and it's scary you know and i feel like this person would rather kind of like admire you from afar because they don't want to kind of like deal with actually what a relationship is i feel like this person definitely could have commitment issues and it's like they would much rather um just think about you in like a, car a caricature version of you they think of you as more of like 
um, a sense more so than a person. You know what I mean? Um, you see you more as like a being in this than a person. And um, yeah, I feel like when you like someone, you always like you ignore the red flags. You just see them like as like this perfect person, and like they, see, they this person is like basically putting you on a pedestal, and someone that can do no wrong because they don't know you personally. Because I'm just hearing them like talk about you in a way where it's like they probably don't even know you. You know, like they think that they know you, but it's like, do they really? Um, because you know sometimes when like um, someone likes you, it's like. How do I say it? <laughs> like this person thinks that they know you really well, but I just feel like they probably don't though, because you know Odo, he's a changeling, like he's from Star Trek. And um if you aren't part of the link, you won't understand it. And you if you don't watch Star Trek, you won't understand the reference. But I'm just hearing like this person saying like listen, like you know the nice guy, that type of vibe. Like I'm getting that energy. We I'll link down this TV show called Win It counts it's so good it's on youtube by wang fu productions definitely watch it um and it's like this person was like pining after this other person and like they wanted them so bad and they realized that this person that they were pining after wasn't actually that amazing you know and i'm not saying that you're not amazing or anything but i just feel like this person is like pining after you and then the person ends up i'm not gonna spoil it but like let's just say in like another scenario um like after pining after the person like they end up like you know with someone that actually they're better suited for and yeah like i just feel like this person really cannot get over you but it's just because they don't want to yeah they'd rather like crush over you they'd rather simp over you than like talk to you and like actually form a relationship with you because that sounds like real and scary and hard you know that sounded like so much brutal truth bro but okay, anyways, Spirit, who cannot get over Pile 3? Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords that came upright, okay? Ending a connection. I can't handle rejection. <gasps> we have the Chariot card, the Cancer card, okay? They could definitely be a Cancer. Okay, we have the King of Coins, the King of Pentacles. Why do I feel like three cards is enough for you? <laughs> Okay, and then we also have the King of Wands, so a lot of dominant energy, okay? I'm hearing that this isn't a shy person, they aren't someone that's like, you know, too shy to come forward. They definitely could come forward, I just feel like they choose rather not to because it's like we have these two kings that you know where it's like they're stable, they know what to do, they know that, you know, you, you probably wouldn't even like them back, bro. But I feel like that's the scary part, like, you know, sometimes, like, I knew my, I was gonna say my friend, I knew this one person and oh my gosh like they were so funny but like they had a crush on this one person right and then like they were like, obsessed with this one person but then um i remember asking them they were like i just want to like them but i don't want them to like me back and then when the person liked them back they lost interest it was crazy bro it's like i mean it's not crazy it happens you know sometimes you just you like the chase and i feel like this person likes the chase of you they're like you know like trying to get you but like I feel like they're in love with like a version of you but like not actually you you know what's that thing where it's like you're not in love with me you're in love with the thought of me the idea of me or like that other thing where it's like i love you and then she's like where love me where i can't see it i can't touch it i sure as i can't feel it it's like that vibe you know i feel like i'm being so mean i'm sorry anyways so let's start with the ten of blades that came upright so the ten of blades talks about letting things go okay sadness and loss and the ultimate end to a cycle or situation okay losing the battle and like nobody comes out on top you know it's kind of like yeah because you like them they like you but, but you guys don't want to date each other it's basically that um you know maybe you guys both are like emotionally unavailable and it's like you know that if you were to if you were gonna be with this person it would literally be amazing and you're scared of that you're scared of like a happy ending or this person is scared of like happy ending they don't want to you know let go of their player lifestyle it's like 
you know, yeah, like it happens, bro, more often than you think. Um, like, you know, sometimes when you know someone will be the perfect um, match for you, but you just don't want it to be real. You don't want it to come true now because you want to do other things with your life. You know, you want to move forward and you want to just do other things, you know. Like, I don't know how to describe it, <laughs> but I feel like if you pick this pile, you know what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, Ten of Blaze, I just feel like this person um, is acknowledging that, like, this is a painful situ situation. Because I feel like you both feel the same, probably, about each other. Or you both would feel the same. I feel like if they were to come forward, you would probably feel the same way. Um, but it, it hurts. And I'll link down the song, When It Hurts, by Astrid S, I think, where it's like, When it hurts. But it hurts so okay when it hurts, but it hurts so good do you take good basically? And then we have the chariot card, so that is you know the cancer card. Um okay, wait. The moon, the sun, judgment, the world. Comet, strength. Okay, the chariot is ruled by cancer. Okay. So yeah, I was talking about, like, I wrote the Rascals movie, all of it, the boys vs. girls, kids next door, kids vs. adults, Steven Universe. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, and finally being together, you know. Okay, so, I just feel like it sucks, bro, it sucks for everyone, but, like, they want to move forward. I feel like they want to move forward with you, but, like, they know that they can't. They know they shouldn't. It's like... I knew someone like this also where it's like they were best friends with this one person right but this person was like such a player and um but they were like best friends like they were literally perfect for each other but like they knew too much about this person they were like fam i've seen you at your worst like i know the stuff that you do behind the doors and like because of that i don't want to be with you and like it was so gut-wrenching to even hear like i was like it was like it was like a real movie bro i was like damn like you know when you know someone so well that you know what they're like? Like, oh, oh. Like, I hope you guys get what I mean. Wait, like, this person just knew them very well. And they were like, I'm going to break your heart probably. Oh, you're going to break my heart. So, like, let's just not date. Even though they both liked each other. And it was really sad. But, um, yeah, I feel like you guys are both really independent people. And I feel like both of you will be able to move on. But, I mean, I just feel like it really sucks. And it's like, they can't get over you. But, um... I do feel like eventually you guys will be able to move on because you guys are both really independent you know like you could definitely be the king of wands and then they could be the king of um coins you know and earth and fire are great and all but like yeah someone does get hurt in the end basically so that is what i got for pile number three i hope the video resonated um i love you loads and let's get into the next one so pile number four you guys chose vic v okay so for some reason i'm hearing that this person is a huge um smooth talker you know smooth criminal but yeah um i feel like the person that can't get over you is someone that definitely could be older like i'm hearing an age gap relationship um, I feel like this person feels like you're definitely out of their league and um, yeah they feel like you're literally out of their league um, like maybe you've only been on one date with this person but they're kind of like nah fam I know I know like this is giving me you know Teddy from How I Met Your Mother where it's like as soon as he met Robin he was like nah she's the one and I feel like this person met you and they were like yeah you're the one you the one you the one and it's like you guys only met once this is someone that literally falls in love after like the first date they say i love you after like you know a week and um yeah i feel like they're like a hopeless romantic and it just feels like this person is saying that they know it's really fast but they already know that they're the one that they want to be with okay i'm hearing them say that they even want to wait for you so that is very intense very hectic I have my incense burning, so yeah. But yeah, I just I'm hearing this person say like they're gonna wait for you, and um, yeah, they don't want to let this connection go. You know, um, there's this vibe where it's like 
I don't know if you know Boy Meets World, the TV show, but there's a quote where they say, you are you and I am I, and if in the end we, up to, we end up together, it's beautiful. Because I don't know why, but I'm seeing this person being married with kids. Like, they said they were going to wait for you, but like, while they're waiting, they're still going to be going around, like, getting married, having babies. But like, <laughs> I don't know, they're going to wait until their partner passes away until they, I, I don't know, that's really bad. I don't want to say that. But like, I'm hearing like, it's a vibe where it's like, they're married, but they can't get over you. I don't know what it is. Because I don't know why, but I'm seeing this person literally being married with kids. Like, I'm seeing an older person with kids and they're saying like, listen, I'm going to wait for you. But like, you can go enjoy your life, you can be young, you can explore, you can date other people, like it's fine, like I won't get jealous, okay? This could definitely be a poly relationship, oh my gosh, yes, hopefully it's poly, maybe it's an open marriage as well, so it's fine. Yeah, because I'm hearing that the situation isn't ideal because it's kind of like both of you are committed, so yeah. And this reminds me of Twilight, you know Edward and um, Bella and... Jacob, if they were just polyamorous, bro, they all could have been together. Don't tell me that Edward and Jacob didn't have some tension in the tent. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Monogamy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Okay. But um, yeah, I'm definitely getting like polyamorous vibes from this pile number four. So. Yeah, I think this person could definitely be in an open marriage and it's kind of like them saying like, listen, I'm married, I have kids, I got a, you know, I got a partner at home or partners at home, but like, I want to add you to the mix. I don't know if you're down or not, you're probably out of my league, you probably don't want to, like, you're probably not into it, but, um, yeah, like, I'm just hearing this person saying that like, they want to add you into their life, like, they want to have you as, like, their third. They want to add you into the relationship. Oh my god, they can't get over you. I'm shook. I'm shook right now. Like, I'm literally hearing them say, like, can you be our third? Okay, let's see. So, we have the Knight of Elixirs in reverse. Oh, oh my gosh. We have the eight, wait, the seven of Elixirs in reverse. Okay. Okay, let me shuffle again. Because that was a lot of reversals. Power four. Who cannot get over power four spirit? Okay, we have the um nine of elixirs. And if it's Roman numbers, I I struggle re reading Roman numbers. And we have the Empress card that came upright. So bro, they see like I said, uh, they just see you as being this attractive person, and they're like, they're into you, bro. But it's weird that they can't get over you. I mean, it's not weird. I just feel like it's weird how the whole situation unfolded, basically, you know? But, um, yeah, let's start with the Knight of Elixirs. So, I just feel like this person saw you out when they were out. And, like, even though they have a family and kids and everything, like, like I said, it's probably an open relationship, an open marriage. Um, like, they were just really into you. And it's like, they're saying they want to be with you. Like, they want you to choose them. They want you to you know, give up everything and, like, just move in with them. Like, they're saying, like, just, like, come live with me. Like, you don't have to worry about, like, your studies and everything. Like, I'll pay for it. Like, I'm getting, like, you know, sugar daddy vibes from this. Um, so, yeah, like, the night of, um... The Knight of uh, the Knight of Elixirs is a good card to get, but because it came in reverse, it can talk about, um... It's, like... I feel like they're a good person, but it just sucks that they're married. Like, they're not single, bro. This person is not single. This person ain't single. Not really. And I just feel like it's really confusing for them because... Maybe, like, they're in a loveless marriage and it's like they never thought that they would meet someone else again, but they did. And it even could be a vibe where it's like they're widowed. Because I am getting that. It could definitely be a widowed vibe. And it's like they just thought that they met, they married the love of their life, right? But then they met you. Or maybe the partner passed away, like I said. Um, which is really awful. And I feel like after the partner passed away, they were like into you. And um, 
yeah, they just can't get over you. They really miss you a lot. And they always kind of wondered, like, what would happen if they, like, ended up with you instead of maybe their current partner. Because then we also got the Seven of Cups in reverse. And the Seven of Cups upright, you know, it talks about options. And they really made the decision. It's you. But they made another decision, that other person as well. So, yeah. And then we have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, um, and that talks about... Okay, before I say anything, let me just go to the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Blades. Um, but yeah, the person is married. Uh, it's like you can't see because you're riddled with anxiety and guilt. Um, okay, okay, okay. And they're trying to find a silver lining, but there isn't one. This person is trying to be like, they're trying to think of like a compromise where it's like, okay, well maybe I can have everything. But it's like, fam, you can't have everything. You need to make a decision. You need to pick, you know, it's either me or the other person. I mean, obviously, unless you're um, polyamorous, then like it all works out fine. But if you're not polyamorous, if you're monogamous, then I mean, they got to pick one. So, Yeah. And that is what I got for pile number four. Um, I hope the video resonated. I don't know. I feel like I, I said something wrong. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I said, I hope the video resonated. And let me know if it did. Let me know what you liked about the reading, what you didn't like about the reading. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.